Hey Cancer, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to start to read here with these fortune cards, we'll sort of set the tone, see if we're talking about uh, love, money, transition, maybe a new job, maybe there's warnings, someone you need to look out for, and as I said that, I had a bunch of cards fall out. And it looks like Spooky McGill here is going to join us on this read, so let's see what we got. So we have Fool. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. So I feel like Tarot is encouraging change here today. Maybe you're in a transitional period and having trouble um, sort of seeing seeing things in a larger scope to be able to recognize opportunities. Uh, we'll keep building on this with the Oracle cards. The universe, what does this Fool card mean to Cancer? Oh, and I got a few there, so let's see what we got. So I have smoke and mirrors, uh, which can speak about sort of truth, sometimes honesty, a sacred reverence, which can speak of um, heart and love and a deep connection, uh, sometimes with somebody, but sometimes just with ourselves as well. I have divine matrix, uh, which represents how everything is intertwined and how it all happens for a reason. Close encounters definitely speaks to interpersonal relationships. And into me, I see, uh, which can speak to sort of your true authentic self and being able to look inside yourself and see who you really are. And you know what? I feel like it ties into that smoke and mirrors and being your honest self, putting your honest self forward, being who you truly are, not trying to hide anything. And I feel like we might be talking about that within a relationship with somebody as well with that Close Encounters card. Uh, opening to discovery, I feel like this is an opportunity uh, for you to deepen your understanding of who you are as a person as well. A higher view speaks of wisdom in perfect harmony. Oh my goodness, I feel like we're meeting somebody uh, who we are in perfect harmony with. This might be why Tarot is stressing this. This might be your person. This might be the one who is coming along. Waking the Lion speaks of empowerment and a willing release, which I feel like is also speaking to this leap of faith and just taking a chance on being yourself, letting go of those insecurities. Oh, I feel like this is, we're meeting somebody very special in our lives here though. So I have the Six of Cups, which can be called the blast from the past card. It can represent someone or something from our past coming back into our life, uh, sometimes letting go of the past, uh, moving forward or learning lessons from the past. I feel like um, it very much does speak to letting go of the past with this willing release. Um, I think it, it's talking about letting go of insecurities not allowing them to hold you back anymore. The Ace of Wands represents new beginnings. It can speak to passion and drive and empowerment. I feel like it ties into the Waking the Lion card. I have the Eight of Wands, which represents swift change. You know what? I feel like this person is coming into your life right away. I feel like this King of Swords speaks to him as well. And the King of Swords, the good qualities that go with the King of Swords uh, is honesty, integrity, and truth. And that's why it's so important that you're your true authentic self, because I think they are. I don't think they hide anything. I think they're quite honest and upfront about who they are. And I think that is what they value in a partner as well. Um, I have the Empress card here. She speaks of nurturing. She speaks of growth. I feel like she's tied into this opening to discovery. Like this is an opportunity for you to even learn about yourself as well. I have the Three of Swords, which represents heartbreak. I feel like this is part of your fear. This is part of your insecurities. Um, and maybe it's a fear of rejection, of opening up your heart to somebody and them being rejected and having to deal with the hurt that goes along with that. Um, I have the Temperance card, which represents a balance between emotion and logic. I feel like she's telling you to temper that fear so that it doesn't get in the way of this beautiful opportunity that's coming your way. The Knight of Swords to me represents a victory in truth and honesty. 
And the strength card to me speaks of empowerment. I feel like it's going to be empowering for you to be able to really own who you are as a person and to recognize that you are a wonderful person and all these beautiful, wonderful things about you. The Ace of Cups represents new beginnings. I feel like it's there's a duality to this new beginning and Cups represents emotions. So I feel like first is speaking to the change that this is going to have within you, who you are as a, per a person, your heart, your mind, your soul. But I feel like it's speaking to this new relationship. This is a new chapter of your life. This is a new beginning. I have the tower card here. I feel like the tower card is also... It's like this three of swords. This is what you fear. You fear this sudden and unexpected ending. You fear this rejection. You fear opening up and then having your heart broken. The two of swords is your indecision and being able to let go of these insecurities and to move forward and, and to sort of bury your heart, but be your true honest self as well. I have the six of pentacles, which represents an even give and take and I feel like it's speaking to abundance as well I feel like the abundance is the love that you're going to get in this new romantic relationship but I feel like it will only come with an even give and take that honesty that openness the emperor card represents success so I feel like there's definitely a potential of finding success in this relationship the moon card can speak of things that are still unknown to us I feel like it's actually tying into this person that you don't know who they are you haven't met them yet but they will be coming your way. So the four swords uh, represents sort of taking time for meditation, for self-care, for reflection as well. And looking after yourself, I feel like it's tying into this, the smoke and mirrors, the into me I see. And really sort of taking time to, to think about who you are as a person, to reflect on that. And to be able to see all the beautiful, wonderful things about you. The Seven of Wands, to me, represents taking back control. Taking back control of your emotions um, and your future by not allowing fear to drive your choices. The Death card represents transition and change. Closing the door on one chapter of your life and beginning a new one. So closing the door on this fear and and opening the door to allowing a beautiful love to grow. When this new person comes along, the Six of Swords represents moving from a stormier time to a calmer one in your life. And I feel like it's speaking to inside and not allowing fear to rule you anymore, being able to find an inner peace within that. The Nine of Cups represents abundance. The Cups is all about emotion. I feel like emotional abundance, that empowerment is going to come from this as well. So the Ten of Wands can represent feeling overwhelmed or overburdened. I feel like that's what this fear is to you. It is overwhelming. It's a burden that you have to carry. And it's one, it's one that you're choosing to carry. It's one that you don't have to carry. It's one that you've been choosing to carry to try and protect yourself. The Hierophant to me speaks of insight and a higher learning, which I feel like you're going to be able to get from this, this reflection, being able to look at yourself. I think... You're going to get an insight. You're going to start to be able to actually see all the wonderful things about yourself. Be like, hey, I am smart. I am funny. I am honest. I am caring. I am loyal. I am kind. And I'm a good catch. And I think once you realize that, that's going to cause you to see yourself and the world in a new way. As this Fool card represents. The Fool card also speaks of taking a leap of faith, which change always is for us. But I feel like that is where you're going to get the, all the tools that you need to be uh, successful as the magician card speaks to and and I think that success is going to carry you to this ten of cups which is abundance and happiness in the home life and I feel like you've been going through the world this way for quite a while I have the nine of swords uh, which is a lot like the eight of swords but it's the progression of that so this has been carrying on for quite a while the nine of wands uh, speaks of a journey over time and the five of cups uh, can represent feeling stuck or trapped in negative emotions like hurt grief loss or fear so much so that you have trouble seeing positive opportunities around you 
So it is time for a change emotionally, uh, spiritually for you. It's time for a change. The Queen of Cups to me is symbolic of, of all those wonderful emotional things in your life. Um, so sometimes that empowerment that's going to come, that um, the love, uh, the happiness, all those wonderful things. Sorry, she got her claw stuck in my shirt. Um, I feel like she's symbolic of that and what you're going to gain in this journey by being able to let go of the fear and truly open yourself up to this wonderful person who is coming your way. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the read. If it resonated uh, with you, please let me know because I do love hearing from you guys and feel free to like or subscribe. Alrighty guys, take care.